it's exhaust time. If you own a V8, it doesn't matter if it's a patrol or anything else, if you own a V8, you gotta open that baby up, you gotta do an exhaust. So we are going to uh, have a listen to the factory exhaust with this ginormous muffler, what it is when you cut the muffler out altogether, and then we're gonna check out, if it's not too windy and raining, um, what it's gonna be like with an aftermarket system through on track. Let's check, let's go. rid of like all the vibration and rattle and all that sort of stuff it just has a nice calm note now let's go find out what it sounds like with a nice loud note all right new exhaust this is what it sounds like So that's what it sounds like. Alright, so you notice this isn't the same quality as my previous videos because I'm shooting it on a mobile phone on purpose because I'm trying to show you the drone noise of the exhaust when you just cut the muffler out. So not replacing it with any other sports muffler or anything because there's just no muffler at all. And uh, I'm hoping the camera's picking this up but it is quite droney. I'm tied my caravan, it's oh, close to three ton. So I will get the new exhaust fitted and then you can have a listen now. And this is the new exhaust. Turns out I get tire noise and roof rack noise. I haven't really heard that before because it was just always exhaust drone. So um, yeah, I can have a conversation with people in the car again. Here with Rob at Dynamotive, we've just run the car and uh, on the dyno and had a, a pleasant increase, which was nice with the new exhaust that we put on. I was going to ask Rob, since we've got him here, yep. we uh, just put on a new exhaust today. How important is it to get a, your uni chip retuned after you've done an exhaust? Oh, it's very important, especially on a on a petrol vehicle because mm -hmm. it will affect the the air fuel ratio, the mixtures, um, which is quite 
non-forgiving on a petrol engine compared to a, a diesel. Yeah, right. So a diesel, you know, you can you can put an exhaust on, and you're quite safe generally. Yep. Um, with a petrol car, it can affect the uh, the air fuel ratio quite substantially, gotcha. and can make it very very dangerous. So you definitely want to be checking yeah. checking air fuel ratios in your mixtures. So does it um, make it um, run a bit leaner or a bit richer by putting exhaust um, on? It depends on the vehicle, but normally, gotcha. generally speaking, it'll make it run a bit leaner um, if it's a good exhaust and it's working properly. All right. Right, that was a very interesting conversation I had with Rob, uh, especially off camera, about some of the things with um, petrol engines. Like, if it's leaning out, that means there's not enough fuel lubrication in the car, and I could see how that would be quite dangerous, especially if you're under load, like for driving or towing, that sort of thing. So, um, yeah, I learned something. Hopefully, you guys learned something too. Now, when I look back at some of the footage, when I was trying to show you guys the drone in my car, Y62 is really interesting. It must be something to do with the, the length of the frequency, because in the driver's seat, drone isn't too bad, but in the passenger seat, it's worse. And then when you get into the back seat and the further back you go, the sound wave must uh, bounce back and get louder somehow. And uh, the drone gets really bad. And for the poor kids at the back of the car, when we're towing the van, when we had that muffler delete, it was it was really bad. So um, I've now with this new system everything's um, really quiet in the car so I'm um, as far as the um, the cruising with the system very happy it only seems to make noise when it's making power so uh, at idle you can barely hear it um, cruising around you can barely hear it but when you trumpet at the lights or you're going up a sand dune or something like that it sounds excellent now I can't comment on fuel usage and because I've gone before I used to run 35s now I'm running 37s so I can't really comment on that and power difference like um, in the seat it kind of feels similar to what it was like with 37s uh, I'll show you my dyno report I've left the numbers off because people get so hung up on numbers and really it's not about numbers it's about if I can document an increase and yeah going in uh, and then having it tuned after the exhaust absolutely saw an increase. So I hope you're comfortable with that because I got a lot of messages last time I went on the dyno about the numbers. So we've got to do a like for like comparison. So I'm back at my favourite road, I'm going to stage it up and um, do those passes that I did at the start of the video and um, you can listen for yourself. So a big thank you to AVO and OnTrack 4x4 in uh, Victoria there for helping us out with this exhaust. Um, they worked tirelessly to get this car out on time. So thank you very much guys. I hope you've enjoyed this vid. It's kind of exhausting. See you next week. Yeah, yeah.